Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is the second update, I believe, for my Project 5 pen, and I'm really excited to get into it, so let's just get started. Now, I did finish my Little Trezor perfume sample by Lancome. There's still a little droplet in that corner, but I can't get it out, so I'm considering it done. Now, Lancome isn't cruelty-free, so I can't repurchase the full size of it, but I'm not really that heartbroken. Honestly, I've got enough perfumes, and it's not really my favorite scent. It definitely is a lighter, more floral scent, whereas I prefer warmer, deeper scents. So, not super heartbroken, but I'm really excited that I did finish it off. So, that means I get to roll something in at the end of this update. I have been neglecting my Clinique Trio just a tad, I would say. I am working on that champagne shade there, and while the dip has gotten a little bit deeper, and I have definitely used it in the last month and a bit, I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would. I think I was really excited to just start using this when I first started up the project, and I made some pretty good momentum pretty quickly, and it just kind of fizzled out a bit. But I didn't really anticipate hitting pan by this update anyway, so I'm going to try and kick it up a notch and really focus on this again and maybe have pan by the next update. Then we've got my Oh My Gosh nail polish in Nude Champagne, and that is where we started. That was the first update, and that is where we're at now. I have painted my nails, as you can tell from the remnants on my fingers there. had to chop all of them off because they were just all breaking. But anywho, I made some pretty consistent progress. I was kind of disappointed on the first update with how slow I felt like it was going. But honestly, if I keep this up, I may be able to finish this. Even if it's not in this project, like, I probably won't be too far off. So, I won't complain. <laughs> this would be my first nail polish that I would actually, like, use up and it hasn't gone dry and gunky and gross so I'm just gonna keep at it and hopefully fingers crossed this will be done before the project ends but if not at least I should be close enough that I can finish it off in my own time. We've got my Mary Kay lip gloss in Melon Sorbet and again another one that I'm making really consistent progress so I'm again not gonna complain it is going down this is something that's really easy to wear I've been really enjoying this layered on top of the lipstick that we'll talk about in just a second so it's something that is just easy to throw on it feels good on the lips so I'm just gonna keep at her and again similar to the nail polish even if this isn't something that I finish by the time this project wraps up I should be pretty low down and it should be pretty easy to just finish off this is my Starlux BFF lipstick that got rolled in last update, I believe. Now, I haven't been marking it because I didn't really anticipate making a lot of visible progress, but I have been marking my uses, and I did decide to set a goal of 50 uses, and right now I've used it 31 times. So I have no doubt that I'll be able to roll this out by next update. And what I've been doing is just either layering it on top of something that I'm already wearing, like another lipstick, or I really like layering this underneath a lip gloss. Um, like I said, I have been using it a lot with the Melon Sorbet, but I also like it with the Revlon lip palette that I'm panning in my 18 in 2018 as well. So I have no doubt that I will be able to hit 50 uses by next update. And then we've got my blend pigment in number 14. And this was again something that was rolled in at the first, this was my intro roll in I believe actually. And again I set a goal of 50 uses and funny enough I'm actually at 31 with this as well. So despite it being in the project longer um, I'm at the same amount of uses as the lipstick. And I'll just get a quick swatch here for you guys. But uh, I think it's because, I mean, I put my eyeshadow on once <laughs> throughout the day, um, whereas the lipstick I can kind of reapply throughout the day. So I'm not super surprised that this is going a little bit slower than the lipstick, but I'm also fairly confident that, I mean, I could have this rolled out by the next update, but that would be me using it pretty much every day that I do my makeup for the next bit um, until the next update essentially. So I should be pretty close if I don't get to the 50 mark. All right, so because I did finish off the perfume sample there, I am going to randomize a new number. I'll reset it so it's not 49. And then let's see what I get to roll in. So 
25. So I've got my little notebook here. 25. Oh, it is another Mary Kay lip gloss in pink diamond. So give me a sec. I'll fish that out and I'll show you what I got. So this is Mary Kay pink diamonds. Now it was sitting on its side there. So I'm not really sure how much is left in here. I'll have to let it settle before the end of the day so I can mark it. But because I'm not sure how much is in here, I don't know what my goal should be. If I was under half, I might try and pan it and just finish it off. Um, or should I do something where I try and finish like half of what's left if it's over half full? Um, let me know what you think I should do. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty shade there, so it should be fairly easy to use. All right, guys, so that is the end of this update. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're doing a project pen as well, and I will see you at the next one. <laughs> see you guys.